Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hacker Buzz. I'm your host, Sean Martin, and joining me today is the famous Sarah oh. Kay from right here in Akron, Ohio. Uh, Sarah Kay is with WQMX 94.9. She's the morning host there. Morning host, co host. Yes, yeah. either. Both either. of those things. Sarah, tell us a little bit about the morning show. Well, Scott and Sarah in the morning. I've been there for five years. Scott has been there forever. Forever. But yeah. Been so, with the station for a little over 11 now. 11 years. Yeah. Now, Sarah, you've been in radio broadcast for 11 years. Well, have you, were you doing it before WKMX? Or? Yes, I've been doing it since 2004, so that's 15 years. Okay. You can do that math. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I mean, that's a long stint. So what got you in the radio? What, what motivated you to, to pursue this career? Oh, it's a pretty simple answer, I think. Okay. Well, kind of silly. I just like to talk. I always loved listening to morning radio mm -hmm. growing up and being in high school. And I thought, well, I can do that. So I just kind of did. Yeah. I kind of just got lucky and went to, I went to Kent State University. Okay. And got my degree in broadcast journalism and thought immediately, maybe the news side wasn't so much for me. Um, as far as radio news or, or right. television news? Or? Right. I knew I always wanted to do radio, but, okay. you know. That, that those people are wonderful and we need them, but yeah. I wasn't so serious. Right. So I went into the more commercial side of radio and have been lucky ever since. Worked in Canton for a little bit and then worked in Akron. I've been very lucky to stay. I'm from Northeast Ohio and working in Northeast Ohio. Yeah, that is that is exciting because a lot of times in the, you know when you get a, a radio gig, you know, you're headed off to Mississippi right. or Buffalo or, yeah. you know, uh, Middle maybe. Middle of nowhere, Ithaca, right. Yes, I've, sure. heard, I've heard about this I radio know. station. It's, yes, uh, yeah. that's amazing. Right. So tell me about your first, one of your, one of your first jobs. So my first job was at WHBC in Canton. Okay. And I mean, I started, you know, from the ground up, running the John Tesh show at night, learning how to run the board, and then doing overnights and weekends, and then I slowly worked up and got the morning show. And like with most radio jobs, not every radio job, you know, new management comes in, everybody kind of gets washed out yeah and again then I was lucky enough to get hired in at rubber city radio group working from the ground up doing overnights doing weekends working every shift every fill-in and they're locally owned and there's three stations here at the Akron Radio Center right and I just worked up and I got evenings at WQMX did that for four years and then was blessed to get the morning show yeah that's awesome so you've been over there for 11 years mm -hmm. um, has anyone over there really like helped you in your career as far as mentoring or like do you have anyone over there that has gone above and beyond I guess to say for you and without a doubt okay that would be Sue Wilson okay she I think I've heard of her she, uh, yeah she, she, was, she might have been mentioned a few times on the show in okay this program. Mm -hmm. okay yes she completely opened every door for me at in my career especially at rubber city Radio group I mean yeah. She is the one that hired me. She's the one that put me on evenings when there was an opening. And then when she decided, when she got promoted, right. and she decided she wouldn't do mornings anymore. And she is the one that said, well, now it's your turn. <laughs> it's your turn to get up. A little passing of, the night. of the torch there. Yes. So, and That's I mean, there's certainly so many more people there now. I mean, we, it's great. It's very woman friendly. Right. And we do, there's a lot of women that work there. But I mean, Ken Steele's now the program director, and he's, he promoted me since Sue left. Yeah. So now I'm assistant program director. So there's just been a lot of passing. Passing the torch happens there. You just kind of got to wait around. Right. That's the right. thing about that's, radio. Yeah. That's how, how kind of how it goes. So speaking of WQMX, and, and there was something going on this past weekend. There was a really big event oh, yeah? down mm -hmm. in um, Canal Fulton, I believe. It's Clay's Park. Clay's Park. Yeah. Tell me a little about this event. I mean, it was. Nothing really big, right? It was only a four-day event. Yeah, well, three-day. Oh, three-day. The Country okay. Fest. It felt like it felt like fourteen, <laughs> but it's a blast. The Country yeah. Fest that Aaron and Joel put on out there at Clay's Park. It was our tenth anniversary. I can't believe we've been doing it for ten years. Really, ten years? Yeah. That's and it's grown every year. Yes, and it's crazy because these two guys just came to WQMX and they were barely twenty-something, saying we want to put on this Country Festival and we want you to help us. And we were like, oh, what, what? And now it's huge and they're getting headliners like Luke Bryan and Dirk Bentley and Brantley Gilbert and then they just announced that Luke Combs is coming next year. Really? And their mouths are on the floor. Yeah. So yeah, you know, when I hear about some of the headliners that you had mentioned, 
I'm not thinking of Clay's Park right. in Canal Fulton yeah. or even how they could house that, but you guys pulled off a huge event in, and we're going to show some of the pictures here in the interview, but like... In the flooding and the mud. Oh, there was a little bit of mud yeah, this there, weekend? Yeah, it was insane. Okay. But it all got pulled off. So this past weekend, you know, how many people do you think showed up for the... Was oh. Saturday or was it Sunday? Did it finish Sunday? It was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay. And I mean, it's a sea of people, and I'm so bad at that. But you're out there emceeing. I know. I know. But they, you're the, you're people the big always MC. ask me, and I think, like, oh, well, are there many people here at Blossom? I'm like, probably not. But I'd say over the three days, there had to, I mean, this is me guessing, if someone's watching and they're right. like, oh, gosh, Sarah, you're horrible at this game. <laughs> and there the had to have been, game. over the three days, I would say there have to have been over 30,000 people. Okay. Without a doubt. All right. Yeah, I mean. But I look out, and every year I say there's more people here. It it's seems, insane. It seems like every year it's, it's getting bigger and bigger. Well, that's awesome. Uh, do you guys have any events coming up that you're promoting, like coming up in a, in a, during the summer? Or what's, what's oh, yes. been going on? We're always on? busy at Blossom. We're yeah. always at every country, country concert out of Blossom. And then we have our big Put in Bay event on August 4th. We, oh. go up to, we do a day at the Bay, an island getaway. Now, is that just for like listeners and, yeah. and, and personalities that you guys all hang out up there? And, and we have a con we do. Or is there a concert? We do a, a pool party. Okay. Nate Fillmore, he's an up and comer. He'll okay. do a concert. And nice. then we all just hang out there and you can spend the night. Well, yeah. And hang out with us or go home. Putin Bay's a, it's a yes. pretty fun spot. It pretty much is. So, yeah, so this, I mean, it sounds like you got it rough. Like, it, you're getting over here at Country Fest. Right. And, Meeting all this, all the celebrities and the country stars. Now you're going to put in Bay and yeah. And also, we're doing our first 5K this year, the WQMX 5K, really? K Y, like Sarah K. Okay. And I'll be hosting that. And we just changed the date. How clever is that? How, right. I thought of that all on my own. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'm a runner now. Yeah. I'm not. I'm a jogger. Mm -hmm. I'm a light walker and jogger. Well, maybe you should come. It's now September 21st. Okay. To support our WQMX bosom buddies. Okay. So all the proceeds will go to helping men and women who can't afford mammograms get a mammogram. That's awesome. September 21st. WQMX.com. So a couple, you know, great events coming up. And if someone wanted to learn about any more events that you have oh. going on with WQMX or Rubber City Radio Group, how would they? WQMX.com or WQMX on Facebook. Okay. All right. I guess one last thing uh, is maybe I heard something about a pink day. Oh, yes. Or... Uh, well, every day is pink day in my world. Cause it I wear, is? I wear pink every day. Even my wedding ring's pink. But uh, Sunday, the 23rd, this past Sunday, was National Pink Day. Okay, all right. But I observed it on Monday because I was a little bit tired from Country Fest. It, it wore you out a little bit? A little bit. What, I, I guess another thing about Country Fest, what's it, how does it feel getting in front of the, all those people? Like, Do you still get the butterflies? or? Of course. I try to be humble. I get nervous every time I go out there. But... I love it. They yeah. they got to get the hook sometimes to right. reel me in. I love it. I love That's going great. out there. I it's, once I'm out there, it's like I love it. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us here at Akron Buzz My in pleasure. the studio, talking about the great events that WQMX has coming up. Yeah. It's been great seeing you. I remember when you were running around before you were big. Oh, before stop. you were big time. She used to come in and see if she could borrow Sean's camera. And oh my gosh, and you used to be, remember the first Country Fest? And I was like, can I save any of this audio? And you said, no, but here's a rule. Maybe look at your, look at the film before you stop filming it. Yeah. None yeah. of this is usable. Sarah. A little bit. It's horrible. But now she's big time. Yeah. All right. Not well, Sarah, I'm not. I'm just not again. taking video anymore. Thanks again for joining us. It's been a pleasure. I know you're very busy. We're going to let you get out of oh. here. Guys, thanks for joining us on Akron Buzz. We appreciate the views. Uh, check us out on Facebook and all that social media good stuff. If you want to be a guest on Akron Buzz, hit us up at Akron at AkronBuzz.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.